Yeah, this is kind of stupid, but I love it. This is a 24 pin and eight pin RGB cable set for this PC back here. You can't see it. It's in the John's Bow D31 mesh case with that screen on the front. Now I'm actually going to move it along. Basically, I'm gonna sell it to someone so I can get the best bang for my tech dollars because I need them. I'm broke as a joke. And we all know the best way to sell a gaming PC nowadays, especially to help the next user get the best performance out of it. It's RGB. One of the most popular things to throw in your system has been the Lee and Lee streamers. I wasn't finna do that, mainly just because the 24 pin Lee and Lee streamer costs more than both of these cables combined. Like, are you serious? Like, what are we really doing here? So we're gonna open this up, see if it's any good. I'm gonna throw it back in this system. But first, let's go ahead and take these out the box. All right, so it's a few hours later and I am finished and I gotta say, I do think it adds a little bit of flair. It gives it that gamer look, it's a little je ne sais quoi. Now, first and foremost, if your motherboard has eight RGB capability, they give you everything that you need. I just daisy chained it to the ARGB fans I already had in the system, but before we go too far, like I gotta stop glazing it. Now, right out of the box, there's two things that I really didn't like. Instead of being an LED strip, that goes from the beginning of the cable to the end. There are basically zones at the beginning, the middle, and the end that kind of light the beam all the way through. So it's not really showing on camera that well, even though you can't see it, like right here in the middle, that's because the light is sort of dying out. So it's really bright at that zone where it shines and then it kind of just dies out in the middle. I, hopefully I put some B-roll on there. Secondly, there was no way to separate the two eight pin GPU headers. So if your GPU only has one eight pin header, you gotta find some way to tuck the other one back in. It's not the biggest deal, but it does look kind of janky. If someone gets up on it and looks real close, they're gonna be like, mm, I don't know. But overall, I'm feeling it. Right now, I'm controlling it with the ASRock RGB software. It's not the greatest options, but you could download something like Signal or you can use the included RGB controller. But in the end, I wanna know what y'all think about these light up RGB cables from whatever the name of that company was. <laughs> I'll leave it down below. If you wanna check this out, I will leave a link down in the description. And while you're down there, make sure you hit that subscribe. It's your Kenfo Dookie. Rest in peace to the Vanglorious Jehovah. And never forget to holla at your boy.